Hey guys, this is John. And this is Eva. Good morning. <laughs> Remember when we told you that we're going to Europe? Well, we're going to this Europe. Is this is it. Yeah. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. and we are leaving. Um, so uh, those are our bags. Yeah, this time all we have are two bags. I mean, this bag uh, went all the way around the world with us. Mm -hmm. You can probably see it a little bit in some of our videos. And this is uh, a new bag that we have. We, got, we have our laptop there and uh, yeah. We're pretty much ready to go. We got a bit of food right here. <laughs> Lots of food. Well, too much food, I think. Yeah. This will be our first vlog style video on this channel, as far as I remember. And we are planning to drive to Vilnius today. So, yeah, it's about, it's far. <laughs> I think it's like 11 and a half hours, approximately. Um, and we'll see how long the borders takes, because yeah. borders are quite unpredictable. But I think it will be fast. Fast? Yeah, it shouldn't be slow. It's only too fast, maybe maybe more if you will see some hitchhikers or... Yeah. I don't know. So yeah, we'll see. But anyway, we need to say bye to our home and uh, yeah. Yeah, this is our room. I don't know if we've even really shown uh, anything. You've seen this in our videos and our bed. Yeah, I don't know. We'll show more later. Yeah, we probably will come in 45 days. Yeah. Or maybe earlier or later. Who knows? Yeah. So. Let's adventure, how to say, let's adventure begin. <laughs> Let the adventure begin. Let the adventure begin. I should probably tell you that we are in Moscow, Russia. I don't know if we told you that. This is the view from our balcony as we leave. There's the river. Moskva River, that's what it's called. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. A little bit cold, a little bit cold. It is 7 a.m. and uh, Moscow is pretty busy. Even so early, lots of cars and um, even some traffic jams. So far, not too bad. Yeah, it's true, not too bad. I mean, we are moving. Half an hour, it'll be bad. <laughs> yeah, it's true. A little bit of Moscow, busy Moscow. It's not a center. It's um, it's a third ring of Moscow. I don't know if you can see this building. Anyway, so. This is, by the way, this is a stadium where there was a final of uh, World Cup in Russia in 2018. And um, this year. <laughs> this year, yeah, but I don't know what, in what year people will watch this video. Remember that? Remember 2018? <laughs> okay, so anyway, I wanted to show you another building like this one. So this is a Moscow State University. This one is the most popular university in Moscow. And my parents, they met there. They were studying there, and they met there, and they got married, and then yeah, I was born. <laughs> so I, I, every time when I see Moscow State University, I'm, I feel this gratefulness that because of this, I exist. <laughs> and my parents met, and uh, yeah, and this is um, this is a beautiful part, and um, it's a relatively new part of Moscow. I don't know, maybe it's ten years old or. A little bit more. It, it called Moscow City or Business Moscow City. I don't know. The tall buildings on the right, right? Yeah, the tall buildings on the right. Yeah, exactly. And I really like how it looks. And uh, mm, I like when the sun. Uh, I don't know when the sun what reflects. When windows reflects the sun. So my favorite one is this one, from the right, twisted one. And I really like this part of the city. Goodbye, Moscow. This part of the road is really similar to Canada. The, the separated highway and the leaves changing, very, very beautiful. So this is still Russia. We, uh, we don't have too much long left uh, before the border with Latvia. Uh, I think maybe 200 kilometers. And we, originally, we, we've we always wanted to, to drive around Europe by car. We thought, why not now? Right now, my visas for Russia are only 90 days every time. I have to leave every time to get a new visa. And so I knew that I had to leave at this time. And then um, Eva and I planned to go to a, the Polyglot Conference in Slovenia. I mentioned on the channel already. And uh, we thought, about flying and the flights were a bit expensive we thought maybe we'd fly to Italy spend some time with Eva's friends and then uh, and then go to Slovenia and then fly back but 
No, no, we thought about it and we thought, well, if we don't do it now, then when are we going to drive around Europe? Because we plan to live in Canada probably next year. Uh, hopefully we can move to Canada for, for a while. And so we figure we better seize the moment and go for it. So here we are, we're uh, almost almost in Europe and uh, I think it'll be a, a great little trip. Even though it'll be not completely rushed, but I wish we could spend a little bit more time in each place. But I think it'll be really, really nice. Looks like we are coming up on the border as there are quite a few big, big trucks. But we, there's hardly any other uh, small cars here couple gas stations. Gas is a bunch cheaper in uh, Russia than in Europe as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Right now it's uh, from like 40 to 49 rubles for a liter. We just uh, crossed the Russian border uh, so we're in between countries right now. I've never crossed the Russian border so fast except maybe in the airport but uh, by back. land yeah there's no there's no oh yeah my, my visa is no longer valid so if for any reason Europe doesn't want to accept me, then uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't. That's that would be a big problem. But yeah, I don't need a visa as a Canadian to go to to Europe, so uh, everything should be good. You can already see right there a European Union sign. Latvia. We're in Europe. They let us in, both of us. Uh, pretty simple. The Russian side was super fast. The the Latvian side was like maybe 20 minutes max, and yeah, we just we waited in line for a little bit and. Passport control and all those good things, and now we're here. And we're gonna drive all the way through Latvia now, and uh, we'll be in Lithuania. Tonight we'll be in, in uh, Vilnius. Vilnius. I'm probably saying it wrong, sorry guys. I guess this is Latvia. We've been driving for like half an hour, and we've seen, I don't know, five houses and three cows. Ah, uh, three, three more cows, and there's a, some kind of lake over there. Looks kind of cool. It, somehow it seems greener here. You'd think that like the climate should be almost the same, but yeah, it seems greener. There's these little houses. A lot of them kind of seem like they're almost like Very abandoned. Yeah. How do you feel? You're driving in Europe. Wow, I feel great. I never did it before in my life, so I just I was like, wow, I I I, I drive in Europe. I'm yes, driving. I'm driving in Europe. Before I felt the same when I was driving in the US and then in Canada. I was like, oh yeah, I'm driving in the, in the foreign country. You're so cool. Yeah. I'm cool. You're cool. <laughs> the situation is cool. The world is cool. And uh, yeah, and I, this, I have this wonderful feeling that um, like we crossed the border and now we are free to go anywhere. We can go to Portugal. We can go to... Uh, I don't know, to Norway, we can go to Italy, we can go anyway, anyway, anywhere in Europe and nobody will check our documents. For me, as a person who needs visa to go to Europe, it's like, it's really weird because before I used to just fly to, to, to some country or to have a layover from one to another and I didn't have this experience like of traveling through all Europe or through many countries more than one. Or sometimes people might even check your documents in your own country. <laughs> yeah. 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 I really like, I, I really, how to say, I, I, I'm enjoying this minute, this second, and uh, this moment. This moment, thank you. And uh, thank you for, for driving in Russia and for letting me drive, letting me drive here. It's really cool. So, you probably won't drive in Latvia. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Sorry. Finally, some people. Um, I'm not sure what the city's called. Some little town. And there's some houses, people on bicycles, walking around. I just uh, started editing a new video. People's got the navigator going on here. And we are both enjoying Latvia so far. It's kind of weird. It's it's so interesting to, to come to a place when you don't know the language. There's a lot of things that we can guess, but there's a lot of things that we don't. I can't really pronounce the name of this city, but we have a beautiful sunset and a river. Still in Latvia. Still in Latvia, but I think we're, I don't know, 10, 15 kilometers from uh, Lithuania. So, so soon we'll be in a new country. Turn right. Turn right. Just around this corner, 
we should see Lithuania. New country. Three countries in one day. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would be. Just a blue sign, like the, uh, the European Union, and I guess it says Lithuania. Cool. New country. Litev Lietuvos Respublika. How do you feel? Wonderful. A little bit tired, but wonderful because we will have a rest in this country, in Lithuania. We'll have two nights in a nice hotel. I really enjoy uh, driving uh, here. I, I don't have enough practice now in Moscow. I, I don't really like driving in Moscow now. Uh, I feel, I don't know, afraid of traffic, of uh, high speed. But here I feel very, very comfortable. Yeah, it's pretty slow to be honest. We have another 150 kilometers and it says two hours and 15 minutes left. Not too bad, but it's definitely not a big highway. Bum, bum. We're just driving along here. Looks like a library. And we decided to stop because, well, because of this. Check it out. So cool. I mean, the camera doesn't really, um, I don't know, give you the real full picture of what we're experiencing, but note that the the lake looks exactly like the sky it's just just like a mirror and there's this little uh place you can walk out oh wow what a cool design you can walk out there and then you can just go straight down and you can walk right out to the water right down right down there i think we got to do it check it out way way cool this is from up above we're finally here it's uh, 11... It's 10.30. 10.30. 10.30. Mm -hmm. We thought we'd be here way earlier, but we weren't. <laughs> but it's okay. We're finally here. Um, Eva got us into the city, which is a bit hectic. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than we expected, but, yeah. but cool. And uh, um, we are staying in Hotel Panorama. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like it has a great view. Uh, we just saw it from the hallway, but we're about to go into our room and see what we got. If you put the card in there. Yeah, lights, mm. camera, action. Mm. All right, we got the lights on so you can actually see what's going on here. Get a nice little bit. And the view here, I don't think we'll, it'll be so nice at night, but I think we can see a little bit. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, wow, yeah. Even at night it's cool, but we'll show you in the morning. Pretty cool view, wow. There's some like churches or something over there. We're definitely gonna go walk in tomorrow. Nice. And a nice simple bathroom. There we go. Hey. <laughs> 